Happy Friday, in Missouri. We are looking at uh, again another beautiful day. We have temperatures in the 80s this afternoon under abundant sunshine. Really, nothing has happened in that uh, in that realm uh, over the last few days. We've been very similar day by day, and we're seeing a big pattern change though uh, heading our way for tomorrow. We've got a cold front on the way. We'll stay dry and warm throughout the day today. Some high clouds, and that's about it. As we head towards your early Saturday, I mean, before we largely are waking up, we've got showers and storms to the north and west decaying on arrival, really running out of energy for storms to use throughout the morning hours. Don't be surprised if you hear a rumble of thunder. Those will start to pick back up, I think, in intensity as they move eastward. We are waiting more so on round two. Round two comes along the cold front itself. You can see it rolling in around four o'clock. This has been a big question mark in the forecast. Uh, the timing of this front uh, it looked like just two to three days ago that this front was going to move fast enough that it might be towards St. Louis before storms develop any kind of severe potential. Yesterday, we saw that shift a little bit further west. It slowed down a little bit. Now today, uh, well, it's slowed down even more. We're likely getting storms to develop along this front by four o'clock and intensifying as they move towards the east. We'll likely see hail and wind possible in this line. A better chance for both the, the hail wind and even tornado threat to the south. Uh, but all of us here have the risk for hail and wind on the leading edge of these storms. Uh, a lot of the that leading edge is out of mid-Missouri by around seven o'clock. And then we're looking at the last of the rain leaving towards about 10 o'clock. Uh, here is that severe risk category. It's a level two out of five. Our level one is in place for Macon, Brunswick, Paris, Moberly, and Marshall. But there is a higher tier here from Boonville, Sedalia, Vandalia, Mexico, and area southward. That includes Columbia, California, Jefferson City, Osage Beach, the whole lake area, and off towards I-44. Places like Harmon and Owensville included as well. This is where we have the better chance for damaging winds and hail. Also, quite a bit of rain with this now that it's slowing down. These storms Storms get really convective over mid-Missouri, meaning we have a lot of big drops to talk about. It looks like we are now upping that to about a half an inch or maybe more in some localized areas. If you remember, before this slowed down, we were talking about potential for a quarter of an inch, and that was about it. So good news on the rain front. Even though we do have that severe potential, it will bring better rain. Again, here's a look at your timing. Two to four in the west, three to five right through the heart of mid-Missouri, four to six off towards the east. Our main concern is going to be wind and hail. We could see a tornado, can't rule it out, but the chance is very low. Our risk is mainly wind and hail damage for Saturday. Sunday, we're keeping showers in the forecast. Things are cool in the 50s and we're more spring-like early next week.